back from Graphic Extras. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to recolor a PDF document, a PDF document that's uh, a color object that I'm just going to import into Photoshop CC. And just going to go to File, Place. And there's a whole selection of PDF documents. They're from Graphic Extras, created by myself. And just going to select one of them. Uh, just click that one. Place. Click OK. Now, once the document's actually imported, the placed document, and it will actually import at some point, it's just deciding to do it or not. Yes, no. Yes, it's finally done it. And of course, you can resize the actual placed document. Uh, just click OK. Now, if you go up to the image adjustments, there's actually no options, unfortunately, to actually recolor the actual imported document. Well, there is a quick way around that. Just go to select, load selection. It's not ideal to be honest, but just click OK. And once you've got that, you can now go over to the layers. And there's obviously a number of options you could use any of these ones here. Channel mixer, color lookup. I quite like the color lookup, but I'm just gonna go for channel mixer at this point. And some various selections here. And of course, you can actually then just modify the color of the design, tweak it without affecting any of the other elements in the image. So just modify that, or go for monochrome, and so on and so on. Okay, well, that's a quick way of recoloring a design. Of course, another option, <laughs> even maybe even easier. If you actually place it, you just go back to the place, and I can just then. Once you've done that, if obviously you've decided that's the size of work you want, you want to work with, you can of course go to Rasterize, Smart Object, and that's that. And you can now go to course to Image, Adjustments, and Photo Filter, just recolor it that way. Okay. Right, that's a quick tutorial on the subject of PDF documents imported into Photoshop. Hope you found this of interest, and you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials every couple of days. Thank you much.